Hi, it's Charlie back with Midwest Adventure Life. Today, we're gonna show you a rocket launch system we made. So here, it's both inside a tackle box. If we open it up, we have the keys to turn it on. It'll tell you your battery percent right here, which is, we have to calibrate it. It says it's 80, but it's really 100. The electronics that we wired, and then this is the main switch. So our tiny Estes uh, rockets, they only require um, like 6.3, 6.4 volts. This big rocket here requires 12 volts. We wanted one launch system to, ro to launch both of the rockets. We don't want two different ones. This right here, so we can adjust it from seven volts that the Estes requires to the 12 that the big rocket requ requires. If you were to launch a rocket, first you'd want to turn on the key, and then you would grab your cable from up here, and then the cable, plug in right here, just like that. And then these would go to the igniter of your rocket. Now that you have your rocket all set up, you'd grab your remote, and once you click the button, these two alligator clip clips here have power, and then your rocket would launch. You can get up to 365 feet away. Another cool feature is if your phone's about to die and you want to record videos, there's a built-in USB port to charge your phone. We plan on putting uh, igniters, motors, and rocket accessories in these open slots. And now let's go show you launching a rocket. This is my mini 3D printed rocket. I'll link the STL files down below if you have a 3D printer and you'd like to print it. And now I'm gonna connect our wires to here. It does not matter what one was, goes where, we're just creating a short circuit. And you do not want these to touch. Just like that. Plug it right in. So now we're gonna get our key out, turn it on. We'll take my remote. And we're all set to launch. Five, four, three, two, one. That's how it's done. Make sure to like and subscribe.